In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and use a budget using the application Money. To create a budget, click on the File tab and select New Budget. A pop-up will prompt you to enter a name for your budget. I'm going to call this one Student Budget. When you are done, you will be taken to the budget screen which separates income from expenses. The first thing I want to do is tell the application how much income will be coming in per month. To do so, click on the Add button in the lower left corner of the budget window. A pop-up will appear which will allow you to input income or expenses. Under Category, I'm going to select Salary and Wages. I will select Monthly as the frequency for this amount of income, and then I will put in the amount of money that will be coming in. Now that my income is set, it is time for me to start putting in some expenses. To put in my expenses, I will do the same process. First I will click on the Add button in the lower left corner of the window, and since this is money going out, I will select the Expense option so that the application knows that this is what I budget to spend. To add another expense, I repeat this exact process. Click on the Add button in the lower left corner of the budget window, then select the Expense option, and then find the category you wish to use for your expense. I'm going to choose Leisure with the subcategory Entertainment with a monthly frequency and $80 as my limit. I'm going to add one more important expense for any student budget, which is under the category of Food and the subcategory Alcohol. Again, I will choose Monthly as the frequency, and I will set my limit to $50. So now that we have some income and expenses inputted, let's check out our budget monitor to see how we're doing. So in the budget monitor, you will see that it will show you the amount you have budgeted for each category and the actual amount spent. Let's say you just went and picked up a case of beer or two. In the transaction center, click on the add button and under category, find the food alcohol option. Then type in the amount you spent. So for this example, I will type in $25. Now let's say you came back from shopping for some toiletries. Click on the Add button and input Personal Care as the category, and then input the amount spent, which would be $60 for this example. Now, if we go back to the budget monitor, we can see that under Food Alcohol, our actual expenditure is $25, while our budgeted amount is $50. The green color on the bar shows that we still have some room for more alcohol expenditure. Under personal care, our actual amount reads 70, while our budgeted amount is 40. The red bar indicates that we have gone over our allocated amount. Now I just want to show you what happens when you already have an expense with a subcategory, and then you add an expense with the parent category. So for this example, we'll use the food category. After I add all the details, back in the budget monitor, we can see that the parent category also displays the $25, which was already spent on alcohol. But the budget amount for food is $100, which is what we just inputted. This means that the $25 spent on alcohol is included in the total budget for food. At the bottom of the budget monitor window, the green bar shows how far along with our expenses we are. In total, we budgeted for $270 to spend this month. Currently, we have spent $120. The green bar represents the $120, and the gray part represents the remaining $150. So that's how you create and use budgets using money. For more Mac software video tutorials, visit www.aptorial.com.